to a new vlog. We are still in Georgetown. I think we got our visas. I think we're leaving soon to be on this guy's team. Uh, today, I think we're doing street evangelism. Yes, something like that and also ministry and preaching and teaching and worship. So. We'll see what I can film. about 30 minutes away from Georgetown. We just prayed and now we're spinning into groups and we're gonna go invite some people to the event tonight and a concert later this week and see what God has for us tonight. tonight we are ready to make ready to make a start tonight i want to let you know that god is going to do something great tonight and we want to thank you for everyone that is in caneville and wherever you know, this mic was sound that is alive tonight he took us from america from all over the country and sent us to south america and to guyana just so that we could share his love tonight. Uh, so, so thank you for having us here. It's a big blessing. And we've only been here for two weeks, but Guyana is an amazing country. And this is an amazing neighborhood, and God has a good plan for this neighborhood. Um, yeah, God's doing something. You're worth my love. And you're worth my time. And I will never be apart from you. And I'm always with you. I'm always at your side. And I just heard the Lord speak to me and say, go and share. And I really didn't know what that meant, go and share, until today when our squad uh, leaders was telling us about coming here and just to come and just walk around and the things that, would we, be, uh, that we would be doing tonight. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. The community, it takes a village to raise children. So we're going to pray over you uh, before we leave. So can I have all the kids come to the middle right here? All the kids. Come on, guys. Tonight, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for the people that have come out. Thank you for the kids that are here. I pray blessings over this village. I pray blessings over these children and these families, God. Hi. 
answer. Well, when God has something to say, it cannot be stopped. Tonight, tonight is your night for your breakthrough, for your freedom to experience the love of God in your life. Hallelujah. That Jesus is on the scene to make the difference in your life. Yeah. When he showed up, he showed up and something happened. Yeah. You're the first person that I've ever I just learned that a couple months ago from my eye doctor. We just got a new roommate. Hi. Hi. Hey, we're back and I just wanted to share with you how this all happened because I don't think you all know. So because this is an expedition country, the five people who got on the right flight originally came to Guyana before the rest of the squad and they had no contacts and so they went around, just knew we needed a Brazilian visa, came to that area, ended up staying in hostels, eventually found this church where we're staying now and this church is how we went to the conference we went to on Sunday and that's how we got plugged in to the street evangelism that we did tonight and God has just provided all these men and women of peace along the way who have given us safe drivers and safe contacts and it's just been incredible. He's been teaching me a lot about divine appointments and just coming alongside what God is already doing because wherever you are he's already moving. It's just up to you to figure out where he is and what he's doing and um, Destiny said tonight, you know, it's not like, wow, God showed up. It's like, we showed up. Like, he was, he's already there. He's always there. Like, are we going to show up and get out of our comfort zone and love people enough that we're willing to get out of our comfort zone in order to save a life, in order to comfort someone else, in order to change their life? Is, is your comfort zone really worth a changed life? And so tonight was awesome. Two people actually came to know Jesus Christ as their personal Savior after the event that we did and I in the middle was feeling like I should have been speaking. Speaking is a passion of mine and instead I was in the crowd worshiping and I just noticed a young woman who was tearing up throughout the whole thing and so I went up to her after and prayed for her. We started talking just kindred spirits immediately and I usually ask people shortly after I meet them what's the biggest dream God has given you and, and she asked me that within about two minutes of knowing me. And then I asked her and she said, you know, I want to evangelize to millions. And I was like, man, like we should all have dreams like that. If you have a dream that is big enough that you can accomplish it on your own without God, then it's not big enough. He wants you to be audacious. He wants you to be bold. The kingdom of God belongs to the bold. And so just getting to know her, her name is Cassie and, and we're friends on Facebook, the world of internet, and we'll keep in touch. But man, you know, if I had been speaking, I wouldn't have been able to see her in the crowd and just follow what God wanted to do. And so being present and showing up in the moment uh, so that God can just continue to work in us. It was an incredible event tonight. So cool to see how God is moving in Guyana. And we are getting ready to leave Georgetown to our new host city soon. So we will see you then. Bye.